Caveman. We here. Good morning, Caveman and Caveman. Welcome to another episode of Caveman Finds. I am your host, Caveman. Welcome to this beautiful Sunday morning. I'm going to my favorite thrift store today. There are a couple of state sales and garage sales on the way, but it is Sunday. And I don't want to waste my time and not find anything. So we're going to go straight to my favorite thrift store. Some quick news. I have officially signed up for whatnot. I'm waiting for the approval. But we're going to be selling everything there. Clothes, items, toys for kids and adults. We're going to have a blast on whatnot. Yes, I do got the Spice Girl shirt. Y'all remember them? Got my own little ecosystem growing right here. And guys, we got squirrels in here. We got chipmunks. We got bees. We got butterflies. This is the coolest spot of my house in my backyard. We're going to see what we find today to sell for profit on eBay and soon on one night. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, guys. So we're going to give this voiceover a try. This is the first time I ever do this, but... You know, stepping into my favorite thrift store, we have to get the carrito. So, I'm going to head upstairs. This is a huge thrift store. Got an upstairs and a downstairs. I'm talking about racks and racks of stuff with items on top. I love this thrift store. I love coming here. I'm always finding something. And the first spot I like to go to is upstairs because upstairs has the plushes. And that's the first thing I like to look at. So my first find right here is these cool, full body, almost three foot tall. I don't know if they're Melissa and Doug or Tina plushes. I know they got hand puppets of these kind, as you see the comps right here. I don't know, like the comps are all over the place, but these are three foot tall. Those are the shorter ones. And these are hand puppets with one of them being looking like this one. So I had to do a lot of research on these items. I have, I believe I picked up three of them. Um, you're going to see another one that I pick up back to back here. Some of them got South Pole clothes. It's pretty cool, but I have no idea what they are. Now, this to me is one of the coolest finds. You see the comps right here. Um, there's no soul comps, but either way, it's a 2001 X-Men Wolverine Locker, which I am definitely keeping. These are cool to put in my desk and store little things inside, but awesome, awesome find. I have never seen Danger Rangers before. <laughs> But it looks like a funny and cool cartoon. But I left this bag. It was messed up. We got a Builder Bear. The Pink Pony. This one has short hair. You see the comps right here. They got longer hair. Those are the sought after ones. So, But I still picked it up. Here we have a huge Teen Titans plush. As you see the comps right here. Sell for pretty good. I got this for a couple of bucks. Um, the first time I picked this one up though. But I always do good with plushes. Now this one is a cool Monster Ink plush. Huge plush too. It's about two feet. But as you can see. They don't sell for much and they want eight dollars here i try not to go too high when i'm buying plushes but this was definitely a cool one now the people pricing these items in the back they need to chill oh, come on! i mean 25 dollars for this nope and here we got this 1993 stuffins elf plush these are similar comps they don't got the exact same one i have so i, I picked it up easy sell for christmas time Always keep a lookout for these cordless PlayStation controllers. As you see the comps here, it comes with an adapter. This one didn't come with the adapter. And as we move forward, you're going to see why I left it behind. And this is the third one that I found, guys. This is the Wizard one. Again, I have to do more research on it. I have no idea what these are. This is the closest one that had a tag to it, but it was ripped. So I have no information. I googled a little some of it, but I still haven't found no information on this. Now that we head downstairs, I want to tell you guys thank you for making it this far. And please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you notify every video that drops every single week. And we're going to make our way towards the cup section. Now this is my second coolest find of the day for sure. We have these cool made in Thailand Disney cups. Now I do very well selling cups, all kinds of cups, especially Disney cups on my eBay and on my Instagram. But these are super cool. We got Minnie Mouse, we got Alice in Wonderland, we got Tinkerbell. We got two Tinkerbell cups and the small Tinkerbell cup sells for good money. But I'm glad I found these cups. So I turned the corner, they were just laying there. I had to pick them up. All the colors, look at the colors, the beautiful colors. 
I love when Thailand makes cups because they, they always incorporate their beautiful colors in them. And then here I find this professional smart ass mug. I actually sold two of these before, different kinds. There's a lot of different ones. Now, what in the world is this? This has to be somebody's first project. I'm not knocking them. I'm just saying it's probably not what they want to do the rest of their life. Now, here we pick up this real cool, smooth, kind of purple Calvin Klein cup. I've never seen a Calvin Klein cup. As you see the comps here, the same cup, but it comes with that extra item, which we don't have. But I'll still pick it up, probably put it for 10 plus shipping. As you saw, I almost missed this cup, but it's a cool Mickey Mouse all over print cup. Sells very well. This is the first time I picked this one up. And here, as I'm looking through the racks, I find this cool New York Giants vintage jersey youth shirt. Super cool. Definitely an item I'm going to have to keep. I also have myself a couple of Giants vintage shirts. So this one I want to give to my 17-year-old daughter so she can have. She loves colors like this. I'm definitely going to keep this shirt. And I didn't press play on my GoPro when I picked these shirts up. These are also kids' shirts. We got this Marvel Universe Live shirt. This one I put back because it was a little too fake. The tag and the shirt is real vintage, but the print they put on it was like plasticky, so I had to let that one go. And here the workers asked me if I could help them open this bottle. They don't have the Swiffer. They just wanted to open the bottle so they could mop with it. So I had to give them a hand. They're always looking out for me in these stores and helping me with items. So it's my pleasure. Here as we had to... This is where I come, guys, to like pull the items on the side. Maybe get a bigger cart if I need it. As I did here, I got a bigger cart to roll around with. But this is where I leave all the items that I don't want, don't need after I check them. Um, this controller is going to be one of them. A couple of items I left behind. And I realized fast that I needed a big shopping cart to continue my thrifting. This is like halfway. As I check this, man. Incredible. Always so check the batteries see, on these I'm items. I'm switching everything that I'm keeping to a bigger shopping cart so I can continue thrifting. And we're going to head downstairs. Now that's when I do my second round all over the store, both floors. Now these plates right here is something you want to look out for. These are super cool. These are Williams Sonoma, made in Italy, Verano tiles, plates. They all have different colors, different graphics, fishes, crabs, different animals. But... You know, they're only going to sell if you find them in sets, so I left them behind. Now, here, this is the first time I ever picked one of these up. It's a cut coal knife block made in USA vintage. It's a little beat up. Um, I don't know if I want to fix it and sand it and bring it back to life, but as you see the comps here, they're definitely worth picking up. And definitely keep a lookout on these swing line staplers. These round black ones are the newer ones. They don't sell for much. I just wanted to show you guys. But these right here, they got larger minis. These are the vintage ones. They got different colors. These you definitely want to pick up. I left this one behind because it was messed up, didn't open. This is a cool little Mickey cookie jar for good little boys is the quote. You could use it for candy or cereal or cookies, but it has the lid. It's not cracked. It's in great condition. I definitely had to pick it up for three bucks. And here I picked up this cool 2015 Millennium Falcon, I believe it's called. As you saw the comms there. Star Wars sells good anywhere. So anytime I see something in Star Wars, especially this intricate, I'm going to definitely pick it up. Items like this and a couple of items that you've seen here is definitely going to be good for my whatnot. So hopefully I get approved soon and we're going to have fun on whatnot. This is also a first for me, guys. These grandma hand-knitted crochets. Depending on the color and the patterns, you definitely want to pick these up, especially if you pick them up for under five bucks. Here I found this red outline one. Then right next to it, there was a blue outline one with the same style and the same patterns. Definitely pick these up for a couple of bucks each. I've done my research on these. They're definitely worth it. Definitely don't sleep on these graphical, colorful cup guys made by Conitz or Conitz. As you see the comps here, they have a variety of different types of styles. Definitely pick these up. All right, guys, we spent $114. I used my 20% off because I shop here all the time. So it was $94. So we left there plus tax. 
paying $99. Exactly. I already got a couple things sold on Instagram. So stay tuned for this haul. Thank you, buddy. So I want to start off by showing you guys the hard goods part of this haul. Especially this Disney Cubs. I know you've seen me pick these up earlier in the video. But let's start with this cool little For Good Little Boys Walt Disney Productions cookie jar type of thing. It's pretty cool. It's cool. Welcome Fool and Marvel's Disney mug. There's the big mug too. You can tell by the size. Got this all over print Mickey Mouse like teacup. And you got this Tinkerbell type of egg shaped cup. I love when these cups got the same color inside. This cool little olive color. And you got the Alice in Wonderland cup. Then you got the Tinkerbell and the Minnie Mouse. And then you got the princess right here. All of these beautiful colors. And this cup was rare and unique right here. It's made by Calvin Klein. The cocky collection. Um, Beautiful color too. It's like a purplish gray. So I had to pick this up. And then this right here, I believe it's called Konitz. Or Connets. Hope I'm saying that right. Keep a lookout for these cups. These cups got like cool design. Well, this brand got cool designs. Um, and a lot of them are sold. This one particularly was not sold, but I figured if I lot these two up, because they got about like the same colors and there's two different cups. So I lot these up and sell them together. And we got this 1993 Stuffins Elf plush. Pretty cool. I seen some of these sell on eBay. They got different kinds. Um I got these for $2. These are the Builder Bear. These Builder Bears with all these colors like this, they, they sell pretty good. Anywhere from $8 to $12 bucks plus shipping. So for $2, I had to pick them up. I got a whole bunch of Builder Bears. So up here hanging around, we got Teen Titans right here. Super cool plush. This is the first time I've picked one of these up. It's about 24 inches. The head is heavy. As what? These I sell quickly on my Instagram when I put it on my story posts. Like... Things like this go pretty fast. Then if you look down here, we got this cool, you've seen it on the video, but this cool, I believe 2015 Star Trek little Voyager ship, which opens up. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I think it closes like this, this one. Super cool little piece. Uh, Star Wars sells pretty good, man, um, on eBay. I think anywhere Star Wars sells good, whether it's clothes or toys, especially toys like this. So it's a good little pickup. Now hats is one of my favorite things I love to buy because one, they light. So which means they cheap to ship. They're easy to store. They don't take a lot of room and they're easy to clean or shape if you got to um, like clean them. I know there's a lot of items that people buy and it takes a while to clean and, and fix up for the pictures and to sell and to ship out. But Hats are pretty easy in all aspects of reselling. But Patagonia trucker snapback hat. Snaps are good. Got the tag right here. Patagonia clothes or hats sell very well. Um, I got these for 2 $3 each. So I'm definitely going to make a profit on them. And then there's a boy's hat. Orlando Magic. Little vintage cool snapback with the gray brim. Um... For two, three bucks, I believe I could get like 15 plus shipping and Patagonia, the same thing. So I love collecting hats and buying hats to resell. This right here is new territory for me, but it's something I've always looked at every time I go thrifting. And it's also something that I'll be studying because I do study um, different items. And I got a book that I take notes in. This is one of them. These are basically grandma handmade crochets. Um... You can see they're both basically the same, but this one is a blue one. This one is a red one. And if you could pick these up for anywhere from one to five bucks, these I picked it up for two, three bucks each. But if you could pick these up anywhere from one to five bucks, they easily, easily could go for 20 to 30 to $50 plus shipping. And the more colors they have and the crazier pattern it has, the more they go for. And if they are labeled or tagged with like a, tag with a name or something like that they go for even more so definitely keep an eye on this especially with these type of colors we got something else that's new territory for me we got this big knife block made by cutco i mean it's not in its best condition but it's real heavy it's made in usa you can see in the bottom made in usa but if you find any cutco knives 
or these cut coat blocks they go for a decent amount of money i got this for about two bucks and they easily go for anywhere from 20 to 30 maybe 35 plus shipping um but it will take like 10 to 15 bucks to ship because it is pretty heavy but this is also something new for me i know about cut coat i've been studying it also and it's the first time i buy it so let's see what happens so this is also something new for me guys uh i don't know if these are melissa and doug puppets or tina prima puppets um i did some research i'm not sure exactly what type of puppets are there but they are almost three feet tall and um this one got like south pole pants this one got like chucks uh this one is a wizard like i don't know what these are i just thought they were pretty cool i never saw them before so i picked them up and um yeah if you guys know exactly what these are uh just leave it down in the comments uh i don't mind learning more about these they seem pretty cool um they also got a hook in the back you can see right there i don't know if it's to hook them or like what's going on with that but please leave down in the comments if you got any idea what these are i know some of them got like overgrown lipstick like right here so these don't have it so that's why i'm not sure exactly which are these but they're pretty cool so i had to pick them up for about i think two or three dollars each these are all sealed dvds honestly i don't deal with dvds too much i try to stay away from them because there's just so many but these were all sealed i checked them as i was looking at them at the thrift store um so we'll start with this one the yankee one is just because it's yankees i gotta keep this i got many yankee fans in my family but then we got the bruce almighty um and they all was a dollar each i believe and this one goes for like eight to ten bucks free shipping and we got robert de niro first of all this is a movie i never saw um so i don't know if i want to open it and see it or sell it but it'll go for like ten dollars plus shipping or ten dollars free shipping actually then we got my cousin Vinny, one of my favorite movies of all time also sealed this one, I believe, was around the $8 to $10 free shipping also. This one surprised me, Casino Royale, but it's the original one from the 90s, I believe. But, yeah, this one right here goes for about $10 to $15 plus shipping. So, this was a cool pickup. I had no idea, and now I know. I'm glad I did the research. So, these are just a couple of sealed DVDs that, you know, I hardly ever collect or buy a DVD, so I'm glad I bought these. So guys, this is by far one of the best things I love to find when I'm thrifting. Basically, folk art. When somebody takes something, as you see here, these are legit Pepsi cans that somebody turned into like a, basically a book bag with Velcro in it, with a nice little pocket inside. Got the Velcro right here, works and functions very well. You got the clip right here. The inside is pretty good. Brand new. You can never use. You got it strapped up. Look like they riveted. So it's pretty cool. Straps and they're adjustable for your size. This is super awesome. This ain't the first time I find something like this in the thrift store. I've actually found three different folk art type uh, items in three different occasions. And I have one here. One of them already sold on my Instagram, and this is the other one that I have. Somebody made out of the Kool-Aid little packages, like a little purse with a little pocket inside, a little Kool-Aid pocket. So this is though it's probably the same artist. I'm not sure, but this is hella cool. I got a cousin that I think might take it, and these are 2002 cans. So it's a definitely is a vintage bag i didn't even know that part but super cool now this to me is the find of the day is a 2001 x-men locker and i don't know if these stickers came with it when you buy the locker or some cool kid just decided to buy these stickers separate and put them on but there's a cool locker it opens and closes it does not have the key it got a little shelf up here also it doesn't have the key but i tried this still locks and opens the bottom is dated it's X-Men, TN 2001 Marvel Characters Inc. Made in China, but 2001 dated. This is the item that I'm going to keep. I want to put in my desk when I start setting up my new area for this thrifting business, which will be in my garage. 
I want to have this on my desk. So this was a cool find. And then last but not least, I got this little Winnie the Pooh handkerchief. What I will give to my mother. Everybody knows she loves Winnie the Pooh. And then this 1993 twin bed Looney Tunes sheet, which has all the characters. Got Tweety, Bugs, Taz, Sylvester. It's a pretty cool twin sheet, but the elastic on it is shot. So I see a lot of people upcycling. So I will put it on my Instagram first. I'm pretty sure somebody will pick it up before I put it on eBay. So these are this this is definitely a I tried to see if there was pillowcases for this, but it was just a twin bed sheet. But it's a cool pickup. So guys, if you made it this far, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. We have about 50 plus subscribers now. We're trying to get to 100 so I could do a very big giveaway. I'll let you know what that is when we get there. Um, today was a good day. Let me know if you like this thrift store that I go to. If you like the voiceover that I've done. I've never done these voiceovers before. Let me know the items that I chose because there was a lot of newbies. I've, there's a couple of items that I never did before or picked up. So that was new for me. So we're going to see how we do with them. And as I said before... This is about the sixth video I believe we're on. And um, I got a lot of items that I still have to put up on my eBay. And I just joined WhatNot. Well, I haven't got approved yet. But I also will be selling on WhatNot once I get approved. So I'll give you the information on that once I get approved. But in these next couple of weeks, I'm planning on throwing every single thing that I thrifted into eBay and listing it. I have to get on that. It's a whole bunch of pieces. And you're going to see a lot of new stuff on my eBay, that's for sure. So I thank you guys once again, and I'll leave you with this. Just be friendly, be kind, and be supportive of everybody around you. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.